the hovercraft was invented in England was only right and proper. Do you remember riding in a clanging, clanking, swaying tram car? Then here's a little bit of living nostalgia. This open-top promenade tram, for instance, isn't a ghost come back to haunt the cobblestones. It's one of many real working exhibits at the Tram Museum in Crouch, Derbyshire. A single-deck Sheffield tram built in 1874. In its heyday, Tram 76 would probably have carried you miles and miles for about a penny. This 1905 tram from Prague just managed to escape the Russians. And a sad little relic, Sheffield's last tram. They had number 11 type convoys in those days too, and passengers complained about the service just as they do today. Because trams were cranky, temperamental, and invariably overcrowded, the seats were hard, and getting on and off, you took your life in your hands. But somehow, they had romantic associations too. When at last they came to the end of the line, a way of life passed with them. The love of trams is still worldwide. Australian postman Barry Cox has a passion for model trams. They keep him amused for hours, just as long as the kids don't interfere. Also in Australia, they have a silly season. The new South Wales